Hey everybody, it's Jameson, aka Shadow once again. And the other day I was in Michaels and I came across this from Design Master Color Text One Step Textured Finish Mossy, which according to the cap here, see they get a glare off of it, makes it look like uh, mossy or grass. And if you look at the picture on the can, looks a lot like uh, some of the modeling flock that's available so I thought well I got a 50% off coupon let's give this a shot and this was only I think it was 10 bucks so I got it for five bucks so let's go out to the garage and uh, give this a, a shot okay so now we're in the garage and excuse the mess I notice on the directions here it says to shake can gently for 10 seconds over shaking May reduce texture. Hold can from 12 to 15 inches from object. Which is a little interesting because usually somebody uh, or these things say to shake vigorously for two minutes. So I'm going to pause it here for a second while I try to get the lid off. I can't do it with one hand apparently. Okay, lid's off. I'm just going to use this little piece of cardboard as a test. So we're going to walk over here past the dog where I usually spray stuff it's right here I'm going to switch camera okay we're going to shake this for 10 seconds and let's give it a shot here Okay, at first glance that looks kind of crappy. So we'll wait for this to dry and then see what the texture is like. Okay, so here we are back inside a few hours later. And as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. I sprayed it kind of lightly, but you can still see the, uh, the shape of the cardboard underneath. But it's got a pretty good texture. It looks green. It looks good from a distance. Uh, I did take a piece of wood and I sprayed this much heavier than the uh, the cardboard, and this turned out pretty good. I can actually feel feel a good thick layer there. Uh, it's not coming off. It seems pretty durable. It's not coming off of the uh, the wood, though. I did seem to get a few uh, little bubbles in there that didn't. It didn't coat very well. I don't know if that was a problem with the wood or not because that didn't happen on the cardboard. So overall, I think it's a pretty cool product. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what would be the best application for it. At $10 a can, uh, you'd probably go through a couple cans trying to do something too big. Uh, I can't imagine doing a, a battle board for, with uh, something like that. But then again, somebody might want to go that option or go that route with that option. Uh, it would be good for like a small diorama or a small terrain piece to give like a base or a foundation before adding more flock or uh, terrain pieces. So uh, overall uh, I thought it was pretty cool and uh, I'll probably try using it on something down the line but if you're looking for a, a quick quick way to get a to get grass on something uh, that might be the way to go. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next one.